Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Friday to y'all. Um, I'm gonna give you some paint colors. Y'all have been asking uh, what the colors of the walls were. And I had told some of you the walls were already this color when we moved in. So um, I did some digging out in the garage and found some paint cans that they had left behind. So the interior paint color is, it's called Sensational Sand. And it was a Sherwin-Williams uh, brand. I found a couple of cans and they both said the same thing. So Sensational Sand is the color that's on the interior of these walls. Um, it is a really nice color. It kind of blends with everything. Um, so I hope that answers your questions. If not, you could message me and I can look at that label a little closer to see if there's some other details if you need other details. But another thing that I've been getting a lot of questions about is what is the color of the front door? So I looked and the color of it is called Nifty Turquoise and it's also by Sherwin-Williams and it's got a black glaze over it. I'll take the camera off of here in just a second and I'll do it up close of that front door so you can see uh, where that black glaze is. I don't know if you can tell that from a distance when I've done the videos, but um, I might do a get where some sun is showing on the walls and I'll show you these interior walls as well so you can see more of a visual of what it looks like with the light hitting it. But um, today what we're gonna do is go out back and I'm gonna show you what I have, have come up with to do, uh, to put the floats up, put them away where they're not in your way. Um, I've had several people that have been just like me going, what do we do with these floats? They, I mean, now they've got these humongous floats and the wind catches them and they take off across the yard. And um, so I, my go-to place is Pinterest. I look at Pinterest anytime I need ideas, suggestions, thoughts, whatever it is. So I had been digging around on Pinterest. This is not something I came up with myself. Um, trying to find something to do with the floats. That way they don't get messed up and they're put out of the way when somebody's not swimming. So I'll take you out back and I'm gonna take the floats out so I can show you what it looks like and then we'll put the floats back in. Um, but it has worked for me so I'm gonna share it with you so you can see if it'll help you too. So. Um, I'm going to get this camera off of here and I'm going to give you up close of this paint and then we'll head out back. Okay, I'm in the entryway and I thought maybe with this light coming in you could see what this color is. Kind of zooming in on it so you can see what that color looks like. But here's just a little wall and you can see. I really like the color of it, but that's that's what it looks like. This is in the dining room. It's got a different texture, um, but it's the same color. See, there's my cow. That picture came from Kirkland's, by the way. But that's the same color. It's just got a different texture on the wall, but I think it's really pretty. You can see. Okay, now I'm outside and there's a lot of sun out here. Let's see the up close. You see the black glaze that gets into the creases. There, I'll just kind of block the sun where you can see. But that's what it looks like up close. It's got a black glaze over that turquoise. Where it kind of gives it the antique look. I'll back up. The sun's so bright, it's kind of hard to kind of hard to see. But that's what that looks like. Okay, guys, I am outside and I'm over here by the fence that's the closest to the pool. But what you see I have up here is a cargo net. 
Um, we have attached it all the way around and I'll give you an up close look of it. But this cargo net my husband bought at Pet Boys. And it's just like for trucks if you're, you're carrying a lot of stuff. This net is supposed to go over it to protect it so it don't blow out. Um, he paid like $25 for it, so it wasn't like too extremely high priced. I think they have them at Lowe's and Home Depot or just any car place. So this is what I seen on Pinterest that they were using to put their floats in. Um, I'll take the camera off to kind of give you a closer look at it and then we'll put the floats back in so you can see how it holds it. Okay. If you notice, it's got these hooks and they're just attached all the way around and you just hook them just like that onto it. Now over on the sides, we just wrapped it around this pole and we did it all the way down. And we just took this one section, you see we wrapped it on that pole too, and then we did it under underneath we just attached it and then we attached it on top i'll back up so you can kind of get Ooh, the sun is bright this morning see this is the last little panel and this is our fence that goes across here so we've got this last section right here and that cargo fit you know that one whole section so you, I mean, if you've got a lot of floats, you can get two of them and go on to the next panel if you need to, to make it bigger. But this is the closest, you see, here's the pull over here. So this was the closest one to be able to attach it. Now you don't have to attach it to a fence. You can put it anywhere that you see, you know, where you can hang it up. But this is where we chose. Okay, so now I want to get the floats and I'm going to start putting them in. That way you can see how it goes in there. So, <laughs> I see Major sitting over there. Um, so, you're probably fixing to get my backside, but um, I'm just going to unattach some of these right here. That way I've got it loose where I can put, I've got one huge float. So, I'm going to put it in first. You see how big this float is? It's a llama. We got it at Walmart. The big one is the hardest one to get in, but the other ones go pretty smoothly. Um. Okay. So now I've got just a regular float. Then I can... I'll just put the stuff behind it like that. Then my daughter's mermaid float which is also pretty pretty big and just like that and then we've got this float My kids had them in better than I do. And 
And then, of course, the noodle. Everybody's got a noodle. Get in there. And then, have a couple of the mask. I'm just going to hang these on a hook. Let's see here. Put those on there, or I can put them like that and then attach it, or whatever I want to do. I just had them hanging like that. But that's it, and then it cleans everything up. They're all in there. Um, like I said, I don't think I've got it in there like my kids had it, but oh well, it's all in there. I'll take it off and kind of back up where you can see better. Okay, so now you can see the cargo net has got the floats in it. I probably should have put the little ones in front of that huge one, but oh well, it's up, it's off the ground. But you see how easy that is, and then it's whenever the wind comes, they're not being blown away. They are attached to the side of the fence. The ground is clean. The pool's not full of floats, so great okay guys that's what I've got for you today I hope that you you like that net I really do like it I mean those huge floats are kind of a challenge to get in and out of there so if you've got little ones yeah the moms and dads may have to help get it out but the teenagers are able to work it just fine so um I, I really like it. It seems to clean everything up. It's got it out of my way. You know, if we're barbecuing or whatever, the floats are not just flying everywhere. You're stepping over them. So, um, if you have any more questions, you can message me and I will help you through it. Like I said, my husband bought that cargo net at Pet Boys and I think he said it was like $25. So, um, I found it on Pinterest, so if you want to look on there to get your own ideas. They had other stuff, but this one worked for me because they had things that they were building with PVC pipe, but um, I was able to just go buy this net and put it up in just a few minutes. Um, so that worked better for me. But um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. We will be headed to Huntsville to move my son out of his apartment. He's got to be out by this weekend. So, uh, that's what we have going on in our little world. But I hope everybody's got a good weekend, and I will see y'all one day next week. Bye-bye.